I'm Ron Polk, and this is the Smart Wood Shop. This is the Polk Smart Bench, and this is the Polk Smart Station. If you'd like to get a detailed set of plans to build any of these, or all of these, for yourself, there's a link in the description of this video down below. The other day when I sprayed the trim, which I didn't get on camera, unfortunately, but Chris shot a little bit with the iPhone, I used the uh, cup and was able to spray with that. Quick and easy to clean. It's the first time I've used that. Typically, I like to use the two-port remote pot with the whip on it and the fluid hose, the two of them, it makes the gun really easy to move and it doesn't matter if you're spraying you know, upside down or whatever because you're not tipping the fluid up. So I'm gonna change it back over right now and show you how easy it is to do that. So I'm, all I need to do is remove uh, this portion which goes with the uh, quart container. And this gun also, I think this is the Elite gun, also has the gravity feed where I can uh, remove this section, put it back on with no tools where the fluid inlet is on the top and then the gravity cup goes. That works really well for some of the really small jobs, easy to clean, plus uh, I think when you're doing those really high-end like automotive paints, uh, they, they can be a lot of money and I don't think you wanna waste any in uh, fluid lines. The controls don't change. The top knob is the fluid, the paint, and the lower knob is the air flow. I'm using a really thick material. Uh, the Sherman Williams does not recommend thinning it because it can change the sheen. But if you do thin it, you thin it with just water and just a small amount. This is the uh, Emerald, Sherman Williams Emerald Urethane Trim Enamel. Uh, this is really good stuff. It lays down nice. If you're ever gonna brush, this is great stuff to brush. It flows out really well and uh, helps with the brush marks. Although I'm not a big anti-brush mark guy. I, I think if it's done nice and laid on nice, it flows out and you can still see brush marks. It, it shows that sort of old school hand painted, just a personal preference. Uh, you do a really good job with a sprayer. If you're too good, and I'm not, it can look like plastic. It's so perfect. And then it sort of loses its uh, craftsman touch, I think, because uh, you can buy cheap plastic trim uh, at the stores that uh, have perfect paint jobs. And so you kind of want, I think you kind of want your, your work to look like a craftsman has had his or her hands on it and done and applied their skill.
I'm one tired dog. Two days to get the trim package completely ready to go, cutting the doors down, cutting the jams down, and painting all of the dimensional base and casing, the jams, as well as the doors. Here it is, the whole trim package, all of the doors, all of the base molding, and all of the casing for the doors and the openings. Next up is to take the doors now and put the hinges back on, reinstall them in the jams. I'll have to come up with a way to attach them, probably a screw or two in through the jams to hold them together so I can move them, spread them inside, ready to hang. I'll do all of the cutting out here. It's a few more steps. It's not as efficient as doing it from inside, but it's close enough that the, the mess, even with the vacuums, is not worth the cleanup time. I will take the Polk Smart Station and move it out here just to save an extra 20 steps, plus that little garage. There's not a great space in there to deal with 17 foot goods. Another modification made to all of the jams, you'll see that in the door hanging video. It's probably the one most important thing to do when you're hanging doors. So watch for that one. If you're enjoying the Florida Fixer series, then be sure to jump on board, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, all those things, as well as comment. And the most important thing, the most important thing is to share this video with a friend or family in a way that brings new people to the channel. That helps us to make more videos. It justifies the time and expense in making these videos. If you want to support the channel financially, you can do so in a number of ways. You can purchase our plans. You can purchase our t-shirts. You can use our affiliate links, which are at our website, link below. And finally, YouTube has introduced this new thanks button down below. You click on that, you'll see what to do. Thanks for dropping into the Smart Wood Shop. You stay safe and have a great day.